Hey guys, what's up? My name is Starful Gaming. You can already tell I've done a lot, and when I mean a lot, I mean like a lot of off camera, you know, gaming. Because A, I actually somehow got the full gold set. Now I have 16 defense, will help us a lot in the boss fight. Because now I'm considering to fight the suspicious eye, which summons, as you can see here, is a summons the eye of Cthulhu. Keep that in my inventory. But before we do that, we must prepare. We must prepare for the fight by, uh, you know, making potions, getting the potions, and most of all, making an arena. Because that'll help us, you know, kind of maneuver, you know, jump from platform to platform. And, oh yeah, and if you guys are wondering why I did so much off-camera gaming, <clears throat> uh, it's because I was going to upload another video like about me mining and stuff but that just gets really boring after a while like let's be honest here would you like to see me like a 10 minute video of just me mining talking no i don't think you would oh yeah but first let me show you what i found in off camera gaming so found some granite from this from this thing called a granite element i don't know what they are they look like a flowing piece of rock. Not really anything too exciting, I guess. Oh yeah, I also found something the glowing mushroom can be used for. So if I have four lesser healing potions. Ooh, crown merchant has a lot. Nice. I can use two of them and a glowing mushroom to create a regular healing potion, which heals more health. So that's going to be helpful in lots of ways, since it can heal more health. And I also... While digging, found like another mushroom biome here, another marble biome here, and an ice biome, which is pretty cool, and a little train track. See here, mining car track, little more little hut. Mining car track leads here, ends for some reason. Uh, mushroom biome here goes down all the way here. And I actually went to like a little lava zone here, like this is another mushroom biome just recently discovered. Uh, and this is like lava, so pretty cool. Now that we got all that out of the way, pretty sure we should make. Pretty sure we should start making. Some, you know, strategies. So, first, off the bat, I want to make. more torches some platforms because I'm gonna that's the main thing I'm gonna use hopefully we get all this done by night or else I have to wait until it's nighttime again gonna make a bunch of platforms also I found this ice mirror thing I mean it doesn't really do anything different than a normal magic mirror it just makes you return home I don't need to find a suitable place I don't want it too near my house because I'm afraid like the boss might kill some of my, uh, you know, NPCs. Make some, yeah, I think this, maybe even here. No, I think here would be pretty good. I don't want, like, a really bigger, I mean, I could improve it later on if I want, like, to find more bosses. But for now, I'm going to make a few sticky bombs. And that's to help us clear out this place. Because I don't feel, because... It's just quicker than mining, you know? Like, just place down a bomb and... Boom, there. Okay, no, I, no. Okay, I really need to work on my grappling hook skill a little bit. Okay, there. Bomb. Put some two at the same time if I can. Because then that will blow up and this will blow up right after. Oh, okay, it only took... Okay, um, it only took a like two bombs, but two thousand years later. All right, hopefully I don't fail this. Got my bow. I think I should add some torches here in the middle. That way it won't get super dark. I don't know if we should try summoning him now. 
I mean, it might not work, but no, I'm gonna try and summon. I'm gonna wait until it's night time because that's when the music changes. So, oh wait, I'm gonna try and summon them. Oh, what? You feel an evil presence watching you. What does that mean? Oh no, wait. That means it's summoning naturally. No, I've heard of this before when I was researching about the Eye of Cthulhu. If you hear, if you see this these texts, that means it summons naturally. Cause I don't even need the summon. I don't even need it. Oh, yep, knew it. All right, there it is. Eye of Cthulhu has awoken. Okay. <clears throat> Where is it? Oh, it's coming towards me. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of lag. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's not dealing too much damage. Only two. Wow. This might be easier than I thought. I'm going to stab it with the sword. Damage through that. So this, the arrows are definitely dealing more damage. I'm just going to use the arrows. So this might actually be easier than I thought. Because he's not doing too much damage. This does have a lot of health, though. He's losing health. Shoot. Yeah, see, it's only like 3, 4 damage, or even 2 damage. Like, that's not too much. Spam the arrows. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, it summons eyeballs, too? Okay, this might be a bit troublesome, but... Okay, I'm just gonna use this. Oh, shoot. Oh. I know it doesn't... Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, like, this... Come on. Come on. Come at me, bro. Oh, what's this? Oh, shoot. What? Oh, okay, is this his second phase? Pretty sure it is. Shoot. Yeah, that's... He's dealing way more damage now. All right, all right. Come on. Can't hit him. Okay, try my wand. Come on, let me bro. He's almost dead. A few more hits. Hopefully it doesn't turn daytime, because then I'll be... Okay, should be able to set him on fire with this. Unless he's immune to fire. Okay, no, he's not immune to fire, right? Okay, might... Because now he's taking constant damage, no matter even if I can't hit him. <gasps> yes! Okay, that was way easier than I expected it to be. This is going to be way more harder, but... Alright. Do you think I can find another one? I'll try to find another one. Why not? And dead, yeah. Boom. Okay, let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. First, let's uh, head home. And then we'll see what we got. Alright. Pretty, not really a pretty, really hard fight. Did get lots of coins from that. It's really good. Okay, let's see what we got. We got, ooh, we got a mask. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, I might have to get rid of the reflective dye, because that kind of ruins it, but. It's pretty cool. What else do we get? We got 
coins, of course. We got crimtain ore. Because now we can make a bunch of bars with them. Yes. Nice. 40. Uh, no, not just 41. Combine these two. Can mana crystal. Extend our mana. Alright. And what can we make with this? No, we can ask the guy. Crafting. What can we make with crimtain bars? Okay, we can make crimson. Okay, we make crimson armor. Pretty nice. I don't know why we're not seeing it here. Do you think have better anvil? Wait. Thought we could. Oh, what? We need tissue samples. Ugh, that sounds really nasty. What the hell? What the heck? We need tissue samples. Ugh, that sounds really gross. But in the meanwhile, I guess we could make this thing. But I think I should. We should save this. We should save this. Until we find out what to do with it. Well then. Well anyways guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that episode. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you. In the future. Peace.